Sure, he's gonna fold up in the second round. Brilla might forget to lay down. Better remind him. That's right. Well, give him a good show like you did last time, Rocky. Make faces and all that stuff. I know. Come on, Tug. Right, let's go. I look swell with the mumps. Well, that's that. What do you mean, that's that? It was a swell fight. Those jokers loved it. Why, it was better than if it was on the level. Yeah, Tug, but this whole business is rotten. Terry, I'm pushing over a lot of setups so Flash McQuaid can collect. You said a mouthful. But where did you pick up such easy dough? And here you are a beefing. Oh, I don't want to beef, Tug, but I'm nothing but the fall guy for a lot of crooked promoters. That puts us all in the same ring together. We're all crooks. Do you think I like it? Shh. 
Don't broadcast it. All right. Hey, what are you looking for? Looking for the boogeyman. Yeah? You better stop clowning. You know, you never can tell when some smart guy is going around trying to get an earful. Go away. Fly said there was nothing to worry about. Oh, no? Say, did you ever stop to think what had happened? If somebody found out that this fight was fake? Ah, uh, they'll never get wise. They got you picked for a hometown boy. And you know a hometown boy never does nothing what's wrong. Yeah, I know. Say, how long have I to stay in this town? Ask Flash McQueen. He's head man of this outfit. I will. Tomorrow. Why not tonight? I won't have time. I'm going stepping tonight. Oh, no, not tonight. No? Listen, let me tell you something, my little man. Neither Flash or anybody else can stop me. Here's Flash now. Suppose you tell the nice man everything. Nice going, kid. You put on a swell show. Just do the same thing when you meet Cyclone in your next bout, and the yokels will dig up a small fortune to bet on you when you meet the champ. The champ? Yeah. That's when I get knocked out. That's right. But that's when you take home a lot of Jack. Didn't you have something to say to Flash? Yeah, I think I did. Uh, not tonight. You're tired. Hop in the hay and get a good rest. Oh, but I'm not tired, Flash. Honest, I'm not. Yes, you are. You got a big day ahead of you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Why, sure. I want to show the betting public around here that you're the Iron Man. But that's not right. Tomorrow's Sunday. I got to get my rest. Atta boy, Frankie. You get on the bed and get your rest. And I'll see you down at the gym bright and early. So long. Just a minute. You can't give me that business. I'm stepping out tonight and sleeping tomorrow. Yeah? Yeah. Listen, you. Don't get tough with me. Stand a chance to make a lot of dough if you're a good boy and do as I tell you. Good night. You won second place in that argument. You're still second. I'm not going to work today, and that's settled. Sure, sure, I know. You know, today's Sunday. Sure, all day. You know, a guy's got to have a day off once in a while. Sure, I know. Say, can't you say anything besides sure? Sure. What does Flash McQuay take me for, a sucker? Sure. Huh? Uh, no. Let's go, Frankie. Chug, I tell you, I won't do it. I tell you what I'll do. I'll go for... Fine. Wait till I get this can percolating. Hello, knockout. How are you? Hey. How'd you know my name? Oh, everybody knows you. Yeah, that's right. Say, that was a swell fight last night. Oh, were you there? No, but our hired man was, and he told me about it. Hey. Come over any time. I gotta go now. I gotta do some road work. I'll see you later. Can I go with you? Oh, no, you better not. You're allowed to get your new suit dirty. <laughs> Maybe Samuel's found him. Well, where is he? I don't know, Mr. Wilson. I looked everywhere. Well, we'll go ahead. When he shows up, you bring him to church. Yes, sir. Hey! Hey, wait for me! I won't dirty my Sunday suit now. Okay. Jump in. No, no, no! I want to run with you! Okay, running mate. Let's go. It's outrageous. Ever since those prize fighters arrived, the entire community has been demoralized. Breaking the Sabbath. Huh? You got to be horsewhipped. Oh, John, they can't be so bad. Do 
you see what I see? Just wait till I get hold of him. John, now remember, he's only a child. Now please let me handle this. Arthur! Oh, Dad, I want to run. What's the meaning of this, young man? Well, I'm trying to knock out. Knock out? Come on, get in this car. Hey, wait a minute. I don't want to get in. Hey, knock out! Maybe it's kidnapping. What's the matter, Art? Hey, listen, lay off, eh? Hey. What's uh, the matter with this you? This is my child. Oh. Well, that's different. I, uh... uh... As for you, you'll please have nothing more to do with this youngster. You ought to be ashamed of yourself carrying on this way on the Sabbath. Well, you ought to be in church. Please, John. We'll have to hurry or we'll be late for church. You're right. And all on account of this prize fighter. Turn around. Where are you going? Church. Church? You're a punch drum. First and great commandment, and the second is like unto it, thou may neighbor as thyself. Goodbye. Thank you. We enjoy your services. Thank you. Hope you'll be with us again soon. We will. It is swell. Thank you for coming. Oh, no bother. I didn't have no place to go anyway. <laughs> I'm uh, terribly sorry about this morning. Oh, that's all right. Dad's awfully strict. I see. Uh, could we take you home? Mary, we're waiting. Well, I guess I'd better go with my folks. Bye. Bye. Let's get going. Flash will raise us. Hey. She's pretty. What'd you say? She is pretty. I thought you said that.
don't know what's the matter with this thing. Here come our neighbors. They'll tow us. Well, I'd never ask a favor of their kind. But, John, it's four miles home. I don't care if it's 40. Hey! Hey, you need any help? No, thank you. Okay. What do they mean by this? It's all right, Dad. I asked him to do it. If it wasn't for these new shoes, I'd never allow it. John, now remember what the minister said about brotherly love. I think we ought to invite them to dinner. What? Yes, Mary's right. Glad to help. Will you and your friend stay to dinner? Oh, we'd like to, but... Uh, oh, but you must. Sure we will. Oh, come right this way. Pardon. My name is Wilson. Mine is Tugboat. Tugboat? Oh, uh, uh his real name is Clarence Helmnitz. Helm what? You just make yourselves right at home, will you? And uh, will you excuse me? Certainly. Will you all sit down, please? I was certainly lucky when I met your little brother. What do you mean? Well, it was through him that I met uh, his big sister. Well, I was lucky, too. Beautiful. What? Oh, I say, uh, you've got a very beautiful place here. Oh. Fighting certainly changed a lot, ain't it? I hadn't noticed. Oh, I think he's sweet. Huh? <laughs> that must be a new word for it. Uh, excuse me a minute. Hey, he's the dumbest guy in the world. He can't talk about nothing. Say, will you do me a favor? What is it? Try to be a gentleman. Talk to Mr. Wilson about it. That might interest him. For instance? Well, technocracy. Picture, Mr. Wilson. Glad you like it. Your brother? All right, Father, come on, step it up. did. I'll see you later. Are you all right? Sure. So, you know, this game is just a series of mountains. Say, it was uh, nice of you to come over. I brought you something. You did? Well, Samuel told me that you boys never get any cake, so I brought you one. You did? Well, where is it? I gave it to Tugboat. Tugboat? Yes, he said he'd keep it for you. Sure took care of that cake. Oh, uh, 
What'd your dad say about our date? Well, after two weeks, finally gave in. We can go out tonight. Oh, that's swell. Do you like to dance? Oh, I love to. Well, should we get all dressed up and go to that new cafe? Oh, that'd be grand. About 8.30. I'll be waiting. many girls like that out here. Well, not here, but I used to go to boarding school in New York. Oh. Hey, tell me, are those stories true about boarding school? Oh, Frankie. myself on any girl, so anytime you're home. Right now. Right now? You said you would. All right.
Just one. What's the idea, Flatfoot? Pipe down. The less you say, the better. Well, we weren't doing anything wrong. So I noticed. In the first place, you're under arrest for parking on the highway without lights. And in the second place, I ought to arrest you for carrying on that way with a young lady. Now listen. You can run me in for parking without lights. But don't make any cracks about the young lady. Well, I'll just take you both in. Oh, Mr. Wallace. Mary Wilson. Well. Seeing it's you, I know it's okay. You know, this is a dangerous place to park. A lot of hold-ups. I've got orders to keep the roads clear. Yeah, well, uh, we were just leaving. Well, get rolling. Good night. Good night. Gee, Mary, you're sweet. Why, just because I happen to know the officers? No. No, but because you didn't run out on me. Like most girls would. Well, I didn't see you running out. Well, I still say you're sweet. Well, you're all right, too. What do you say? I see you tomorrow. What do you say? I'll be waiting. I'll take care of that kid, all right. I ain't taking any chances on him falling for some local dame and confessing his sins to her. That wouldn't be so hot. Hot? It'd make it pretty hot for all of us. Why, they'd ride us out of this town on a rail. What you gonna do? One of us girls he wants, I'll get him a girl. But one that I can trust. Meaning? Babe. She'll keep his mind off of this local skirt. I'll phone her and have her come right out. Uh, long distance. Hello. Hello, babe. This is Flash. Oh, Flash. What's the matter? Disappointed? Expecting somebody else to call? Oh, don't be silly, darling. You know you're the only one for me. What? At this time of the night? But, Flash, I'm in bed, sound asleep. Oh, no, you do as I tell you. Get dressed and drive right out here. I hate you. And she'll take care of the kid. Tell him I want to see him before he goes to bed. Right. Well, my little man, what keeps you from your beauty sleep? You. Me? Well, that won't be for long. I'm about to become a changed man. I'll say so. Flash is waiting. Well, he can wait. I got something to tell First, we'll talk fast. You know, Mary is the sweetest girl well, I, I ever, ever met. And we're going to be married. Married? Yep. Just as soon as I get the dope from the big fight. That is, if she'll have me. Let's go. Flash wants you. Hello, Flash. Well, yeah. You know you'll fight tomorrow night? Sure I do. You want a big party? Big party? I just went for a ride. Right. I mean, I know where you were at. What harm did I do? Lots. You were seen that roadhouse on Miller's Belling against you. Listen, Frankie, we got a chance to make a bankroll if you don't lose your knife. What do you mean? You're running around my Wilson, Dave. She's gonna get you in trouble. She's no different than the other tramp. Tramp? Why, you... Hold on there, Look Rocky. Out. Hold, hold on there. That's all right, Frank. Oh, I'm sorry, Tug. But nobody's gonna talk about this Wilson like that. what I tell you? He fell for a hook, line, and sinker. Hey, listen, you. The dame, so I phoned for Babe. Babe? Yeah, she'll be swell company for you. She'll keep your mind off of that milkmaid. Why, you dirty... Oh, wait a minute, Flash. All right, I'll play your game. But keep that babe out of here. Phone her and cancel her right now. Be long distance. Hello? Oh, Flash, I'm just leaving. What? Go where? Back to bed? Say, one of us must be crazy. Satisfied, Ken? 
I guess so. Babe stays away from you and you stay away from the girl, right? Right. Right. I just took some milk up to the camp and Frankie said... Yes? ...that he couldn't see it till after the fight. Well, he must be awfully busy. Oh, no. He... Um, That's all, Samuel. sure falling for us in this town. Well, we gave him a good show, didn't we? Sure. Listen, Frankie, how about this marriage business? Now, don't start giving me a lot of bad advice. You must have liked it. You tried it four times. Besides, that's the only reason I'm taking all this lip from flesh. All I want is the 2,500 berries I'm going to get from the big fight, and I'm going to drop this business like a ton of lead. Ixnay, Ixnay. Swell fight last night, kid. Look a little bad in the first, but your show on the six will be talked about for a long time. Well, I'm glad you like it, Flash. And everything is all set for your fight with the champ. Everything that comes after that will be carting home the greenbacks. Boy, that sure sounds good to me. And to show you that I'm your pal, I'm giving you 200 extra for last night. No. Yeah. That's for being a good boy and staying away from the girlfriend. Now listen, Flash. Now you listen to me. This is turning out even better than I expected. And I'm not taking any chances on you and that dame spoiling it for me. But she's all right. What an awful sucker you are. Here you are, just the ham, getting a lucky break, picking up some easy money, knocking over setups. Now, don't call me a ham. And if the setups, I can knock out any one of those guys in two seconds. All right, tough guy. But before we go any further, let me tell you something. If you see this dame anymore before the big fight, I'm putting somebody else in your place. You got that? Why, you... You win. Come on, Tugboat. Come on, Knockout. Go on. Hey. How's Mary? Well, she's lonesome for you. Yeah? How do you know? I heard her asking Ma, why don't you come over anymore? Oh, I don't know. I uh... <laughs> Let's eat some dust. Be right with you. Hey, can I go with you? Oh, not this time, Art. Uh, I'll see you later. So long, knockout. So long. Why, Frankie. Hello, honey. Hello. Did you miss me? Why, of course. Frankie, what happened? Oh, I, just one of those things that, uh, well, I can't explain very well. I sure miss you, Mary. But you haven't, you haven't told me what kept you away. Well, I, just a little while longer and I'll be able to tell you everything. There goes Tug heading for camp. I thought he'd be smart enough to know I stopped off here. Well, that means I gotta beat it. Goodbye, honey. See you tonight. All right. Didn't he come back? No, he didn't come back. 
You big dumbbell, you left him out of your sight. Now he's with that country dame. Hey, if you can't keep your eyes on him, I'll get a real watchdog. I'll send for Babe to come right out. Hey, what's the idea of ditching me? Oh, I can do. You always do. No kidding. Flash was here when I drove in without you. Yeah? Yeah. He knows where you are. I'm awful sorry, Frankie. Oh, that's all right. Forget it. Hello. Who? Oh, Flash. Well, why wake me at this time of the morning? Come where? Oh, but I'm sleeping. All right. So you want me to play nursemaid to this palooka of yours? Put it on big. Sure, I... But I... Uh-oh. Here's a little love note for you, Flash. Stop making faces. I know just who you are. You can see he's just crazy about me. Hello. Hello, give me black. 0346. Hello? I'm waiting for you. Oh, I tell you, Mary, Flash is awful tough. He won't let me see you. Flash won't let you... Listen, Mary, somebody's coming out. I'll have to hang up. Goodbye. Frankie! Frankie! There you are! Yeah. Oh, Frankie, won't you talk to baby? All choked up with emotion and asthma. Oh, Frankie, be nice to me. Will you get out of here? No, I will not. I'll sit here as long as I please, and you won't budge me. All right. You win. <laughs> oh, I'm terribly sorry. Frankie, my new Chanel model. Oh, Frankie. How do you do, Mr. McQuaid? Why, how do? Did you tell Frankie to stay away from me? Of course not. What gave you that idea? Well, we were going out this evening. He phoned you and called the date off. Why, yes. I think I understand. What do you mean? That's the reason. You see, that's his girl from the big town. Just got here this afternoon. That's why he told you that lie about me. Why, I'd be tickled to pieces if he kept company with a sweet little girl like you. Thanks. I'm sorry if I offended you. It's quite all. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, give me black. 0346. Yeah. Hello? Hello, Mary. Mary, I just had to call up to say good night. Well, please don't bother. I found out all about you. But Mary. H hello, Mary. Hello, hello. Tell me why you hung up the phone. Because I had no desire to talk to you. But why? What happened all of a sudden? I found out a few things. What did you find out? Well, your sweetheart just arrived in town. Sweetheart? Who told you that? Flash. He's a liar. 
Well, I saw you and her together. Honey, listen. She's not my sweetheart. She's not even a friend. It's all part of Flash's frame up. I wish I could believe. Believe? You must believe. Do you suppose if she were my sweetheart, I'd ask you to marry me? Marry you? Yes. Will you? Will you? Yes. Good night. Sweetheart. You know, the people in this town are betting heavy. They've made Frankie the favorite to beat the champ. Now, Frankie will lay down in the fourth. And all I'm asking of you is a 50-50 split of your winnings. Deal. I'll see you just before the fight. Okay. Hey, you got a lot of nerve lying to Mary last night about baby and my girl. Why, well, I did it for your own good to keep you away from her. Oh, you did, eh? Well, you won't have to worry about that for long. No? No. Because we're getting married. Married, eh? Well, that's just fine. Now, you listen to me. You'll do as I say or there won't be any wedding. Now, what are you driving at? Why, I'll put her wise to you. Then what? Why, she'd never talk to you again. Oh, you're crazy. Yeah? Yeah, because she'd understand. What about her old man? Well, he'd throw you in jail if you knew you were crooked. And you trying to bluff me when you're the one that makes all the crooked deals. Why, you wouldn't dare to tell him. No? Well, you just get tough with me and see what I'll do. Hey, listen, you. This Wilson girl thinks you're on the level and a square shooter. Why, she'd never even look at you again if she knew you were going to lay down and throw this fight. Listen, smart guy. If you ever tell her... Arthur! Arthur! Hey, there. Yeah. Hello, old pal. Well, what's the matter, Arthur? Oh, uh, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, what do you mean? Well, you're a cheater. Oh, now what are you talking about, huh? Oh, I heard plenty. You crook. Arthur, wait. If that kid shoots off his mouth, they'll run us out of town before the fight tonight. Hasn't been there since early this morning. What do they know Arthur's missing? Maybe kidnapped. Yes. I don't trust those hoodlums myself. I've looked every place, Mr. Wilson, but there ain't no trace of him. He's been missing since 10 o'clock. Yes, I have called there. Any news, officer? No, I'd better call headquarters and have them send out a general broadcast. May I use your telephone? Oh, certainly, right there. Police headquarters. Okay. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. A boy is missing. Name Arthur Wilson. Age about 10. Height 4 feet 6. Blue eyes. Frankie. Mary, what are you doing here? Didn't you know that Arthur's been missing since this morning? No. In cooperation with the police department, I wish to announce that a child is missing. Name, Arthur Wilson. Age, 10. He left his home at 2104 Ridgeview Road at 10 o'clock this morning and has not been seen since. Gee, they're sitting there making a fuss about that kid. I wonder what they did with him. They got him up to Kelly's apartment until after the fight. Flush ain't taking no chance on him shooting his mouth off. What do they mean? Shh, got your car? Come on. Don't waste your time, kid. It's locked. Before someone sees you. Say, I want to go home. My folks will be worried about me. You stay until after the fight. 
Say, I'm going to tell on you and I'm going to tell on Frankie, too. Kelly's car. Now, you wait here. Who's there? Frankie. Hey, what are you doing here? Why aren't you down at the fights? I came for the kid. The kid? He stays here till after the fights. That's Flasher's orders. Yeah? Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Mary, you take Arthur home. I'll take Flash's car. We've got to fight in 20 minutes. He's not going to fight. He's a cheat. He's going to lay down so he can make a lot of easy money for himself. Arthur, don't say such things. Well, it's the truth. Ask him yourself. It, it isn't true, is it, Frankie? Well, I... I tell you, Mary, it's like this. Oh, then it is true. You are just a crooked fighter. Well, maybe I am. But this fight business is just a game. I do what I'm told and get paid for it. And the people get more for their money than it was a real fight. Those same people have confidence in you. They bet their money on you to win. Mary, you're not betting on me, are you? Not money, Frankie. Something more important. Our future. Then you want me to quit? Not quit. Win. Win? Beat the champ? Yes. Well, that's impossible. If he wanted to, he could smear me all over the canvas in the first round. I can't win, so I might as well cash in on this and make some real money. It's my big chance. You're wrong, Frankie. This is your big chance to prove to yourself that you're as good as those people who are betting on you think you are. I'm betting on you, and I... I know you won't disappoint me. But, Mary, let me explain. There's nothing to explain. If you want to be a quitter and a cheat, it's your affair. Goodbye. Come on. Pair of lugs. Oh, gee, Flash. One minute he was there, and next minute he was gone. Yeah. Oh, boy. Where's he been? No, no, please don't scold him. Just a minute, folks. Don't go away. There's a little delay. The champion's in his corner, but the uh, challenger hasn't yet arrived. Say, listen, Flash. If your man isn't here in five minutes, I'm going to substitute Tiger Johnson. All right, don't get excited. He'll be here any minute now. All right, see that he is. All right, Tug, let's go. Hey, so you finally decided to get here, eh? Well, where were you? Never mind where I was on here. Forget it. Well, I'll see you after the fight. Tell Mac he's here. Okay. Come on, Tug. Snap into it. Get him ready. Uh, Stand here all night. A guy by the name of Miller wants to see you, boss. Miller? Fine. <coughs> Say, Flash. I'd like to get back the money I lost on your boy. There's a good chance. Think you can get ten grand covered? Yeah, I think I know a guy that'll take it. Okay. It's a bet. See you after the fight. Boy, that's hard enough for a real battle. Well, that's what the crowd expects to see. Well, boy, this is our big moment. Miller just put ten grand on you. How are you fixed, all set? I got something to say to you, Flash. Sure, go ahead. It's private. Private? Yeah. Hey, you guys scram. Private. All right, Frankie, what's on your mind? Now, get this, Flash. I'm going in there, and I'm not going to lay down. I don't get you. I'm going to fight to win. Oh, you're crazy. The champ will kill you. That's my tough luck. But if he does, he'll have to fight. Oh, Shut up, Flash. you got nothing to worry about. You just said he killed me. So if he does, the customers get their money's worth. Listen, you can't do that. I've got a lot of money on the champ. Anything's liable to happen to a fight, you're liable to slip over a lucky punch, and I lose plenty. That's your tough luck. Well, I won't let you go on. No? Well, I'm going on. Come on. Referee's looking for the dresser. Uh-uh, here he comes down the aisle now. It won't be long, folks. Don't go away.
still going to fight? Yes. Okay. I can't say anything else for this boy, Morgan. You've got to say that he's game. He's taken everything the champ's got, and the champ's got plenty. Oh, well, here's what you're going to say. Get some castles right away. Oh, is this a fight? Then the sun's going to be. is leading to his left. He's leading to his right. Oh, he faced this off. Oh, me, you've stopped me. No, no, I just... I beg your pardon. Okay, I want to put on a real battle. What do you want to do that for? I don't know. I must be crazy. But I'll... Hey, that guy ain't pulled his punches. This is on the level. And I told him to fight. Uh-oh. Oh, boy, a left hook right on the button. And Morgan comes back for more. Next round, Jed. Okay. He's killing you. Why don't you lay down? What do you mean, lay down? He's doing great. You're doing fine, Frankie. This kid has a terrific capacity for punishment, folks. He's taken everything the champ has and coming back for more. Oh, Mr. Mortis, for goodness sake, I'm all so excited.